From the time it took Voyager to leave the Earth and reach the edge of the solar system, I went from being a baby to a high schooler to a university graduate to a worker to a business owner, and now I'm a husband, a father, a postgrad student, a science communicator, a musician, a YouTuber, and a backyard astronomer. I've been lucky to reach this point to be able to buy some of the best equipment an amateur astronomer could dream of. But there's one thing I can't afford, and that's time. Astronomy has made me a more patient person, and the constant drive to get better and collect more data to capture the wonder of the cosmos is something I have to balance with everything else in my life. So when I see a telescope with a lower F number, I know that its value to me is far greater than money alone. A telescope's value is not just the sum of its parts. It comes from how much you can get it outside, and how much you can get out of it. That's why I jumped to buy the Celestron Ro Ackerman Schmidt Astrograph 11. Its 620mm focal length at f2 allows me to capture the incredible Southern Hemisphere Nebulae, sometimes within a single night, but always with revealing depth and signal. I've been shooting the universe with the Rasa 11 for years now, and it's allowed me not only the satisfaction of sharing these unique views from my end of the world, but also to detect and track asteroids, which is an area I'd love to explore further. The Rasa 11 easily crosses that divide between a consumer scope and a scientific research grade observational telescope for discovery and analysis. The real limit for the Rasa 11 is really how far I'm willing to take it. And it's nice to have a telescope that I won't outgrow for a long time. Because time is the only thing we don't get more of. <laughs>